I think there is a better degree of confidence, certainly in the United States. Uh, there is, uh, I think, a higher level of criticism of uh, what's going on in China and, and elsewhere in the fast growth markets. And obviously, we've seen a withdrawal in the last few weeks of uh, investment funds uh, from those faster growth markets. So I, I would say there's more American confidence and more, um, more, more sort of more comment uh, on China and what China is doing. Uh, we've had a very wide-ranging conference. It's covered sport, education, yep. economic growth. Mexico, the, the president of Mexico made a, a very, very strong presentation about the growth prospects in Mexico and how Mexico is positioned in relation to the United States and indeed the other fast growth markets in the world. That was extremely impressive. And today we'll hear more about the, the media industry, politics. It's a, it's a very broad, broad ranging agenda. But I think generally, Betty, better confidence in the U.S., obviously concerned about Europe, although very interestingly, a lot of positive comments now starting to creep in about Spain, hmm. uh, less so about France, okay. a feeling that France will, has further, further down to go. Italy sort of getting that, into balance, but Spain, Spain uh, certainly, and the underlying Martin, confidence is better. East, that was different from last ahead. year, because I know last year, people were still very worried about what was going on in Europe. Yes, and I think that, that's moderated. And as I say, Spain is starting to bottom out, although with 50% unemployment amongst the youth, that has social consequences that I don't think we've seen the consequences of uh, at, at this particular stage. But generally, I think people feel better about those grey swans. The big imponderable is the Middle East. A lot yeah. of concern about that. A lot of, lot of concern about cyber security or cyber insecurity as the session was. <laughs> and that, that generates a lot, of criti a lot of criticism of China, which I think has to be better balanced, right. quite frankly. Our business in China is still very Martin. strong. It's still based on the FMCG companies, as you know. Martin, on your, uh, in terms of your own business and advertising, and particularly digital uh, advertising, do you find yourself that you've got to cozy up a bit more to Larry Page and Sergey Brin there at Google because they're going to be an increasingly bigger part of your spend? Well, uh, Google now is our second biggest media relationship after, after News Corp and is growing at about 25% to a third. But we're seeing strong growth in Twitter too. This year we're up about a third with Twitter, having done just over $300 million of business with them last year. We expect it to be, uh, sorry, that's Facebook, not Twitter. Right. We expect that to be over 400 million. Twitter is also growing very significantly, as is LinkedIn. So we're starting to develop strong social network connections, but the, the, the elephant in the room, if I can put it that way, or the, uh, the gorilla in the room, is still Google. I mean, it's five-legged stall in search, uh, in display, in video. We're, string, we're yep. seeing strong video penetration, particularly in high TV penetration markets, like in Italy, like in Brazil, and then there's social and mobile, and mobile search is becoming very powerful. And of course, you've seen a big reorganization this week at Microsoft, Steve Ballmer has organized the company yep. in a much more singular way, in a much more focused way, and that will have, I think, interesting Martin. repercussions at Microsoft as well. Martin, yeah. we just have a few yes, seconds, baby. but you were mentioning more confidence here in the U.S. Is that giving you more confidence? Are we going to start seeing more deals inked from your company because, uh, because just people are more willing to do deals? Well, we've, already, we've always had confidence, Betty. We never lack confidence. We've continued to do our 300 million to 400 million pounds of deals. It's about a third of our free cash flow every year. I'm not sure that what you're talking about will, will translate into increased confidence. I think CEOs are still nervous of making mistakes. Boards are still nervous of making mistakes. Uh, most of the funds and institutions want return, return of surplus funds in the form of dividends or buybacks. And I think you will still see caution. The average life of a CEO internationally is still about three years. Yeah. In the United States, four and a half years. But CMOs in America, average life has gone up, I'm pleased to say, from two years to two and a half years. Okay. But with that sort of volatility, I, I don't think you'll see massive deal making. I'll see, I think you'll see a little bit more, particularly in the small and medium size. You know, we saw in London today a little bit of deal activity. But generally, I think people will still remain cautious.